Ladies and gentlemen, I come bearing good news. We finally have our first glimpses of zombies content coming to Cold War next week with season three. And we are getting a brand new map in zombies at the start of season three via a new teaser by Treyarch. So let's check it out. It says the only way out is up. Hashtag zombies with a gif panning through a tree where we can see some really interesting satellite setups. And if you don't know where this is, then we are going to fill you all in but this confirms right here and now that we're getting at least one new map in zombies in season three's launch with the new map coming to outbreak now i know what some of you are thinking you're thinking where the heck is the dlc2 zombies map berlin i don't think we're getting it for the start of season three and i didn't expect it all we know going into season three is that outbreak is getting a full-on easter egg quest but we did not expect to see a brand new map in outbreak only two or three weeks after after another new map was introduced with the season two reloaded update but this map is entirely brand new this has never been seen before in black ops cold war and there's a chance that this has been created purely for the zombies mode so not just a multiplayer map that's been ported into outbreak but this could be a map made specifically for the mode now the map we're seeing here is a map called duga and this is based off the final campaign mission in black ops cold war what you're seeing on screen now comes from the final mission in cold war called Ashes to Ashes and Duga is the name of a Soviet over the horizon radar system used as part of the Soviet missile defense early warning radar network which were used between 1976 and 1989. Now what makes this exciting is that two operational Duga radars were deployed with one of them being near Chernobyl which is of course infamous for what happened there. And narratively it's a really good place for Cold War zombies to go. Now, in the campaign mission you can see the Duga array in the background but the playable area is actually pretty small but with the way that we see in this gif this is a sparse open piece of land which looks quite similar to ruka but obviously these satellites can play a part in the storyline and the reason why i suggest that is because that these were used as part of a soviet missile defense early warning radar network now in the storyline of cold war zombies mega group are developing warheads which are going to strike specific parts of the world that is going to open dark ether portals this is part of what Dr. Valentina is scheming to do to try and reopen dark ether portals to bring back soldiers from the Second World War, specifically in Berlin, which is why this location has been spoken about, teased about for so long. But if we've been told narratively that Omega Group, the Soviets, are messing about with missiles, then they'd want to have their own missile defense network system and this falls into that narratively really well. If we look back to the season two reloaded blog post, Trout said that what's going to happen with the Dark Eve storyline and Outbreak is going to pave the way for future seasons to come in the traditional survival DLC map. So this sounds like it's going to be pretty exciting main Easter egg quest wise. Honestly, we've only had Sanatorium Night for a few weeks. So seeing a brand new map come in on top of that is really good news. And it's in Chernobyl of all places. Now that as a zombies location is something that many fans like myself have only dreamed of having and now we're actually going there. There is a lot of very unique things that Treyarch could do with this play space and I'm really excited for that. But when will we actually see the next standard DLC survival map? Probably not until the mid-season update for season 3, although there's a chance that we could see it before then. But this new Duga map and the main Easter egg quest is going to set up everything that's going to happen going forwards for Cold War. But we aren't done there. Treyarch has teased something else coming with season 3. Treyarch have changed their profile picture to this which seems to suggest a new field upgrade coming to the game it's in the exact same style and design as every other field upgrade so real question is what exactly does this field upgrade do well if we look at frenzied guard which we got in season two we could base our assumptions off were the fact that we saw a shield icon but here it looks a little bit like zetsubono shima where we have a skull wrapped around a load of vines which look to be you know vines like like what you'd see in Zetsubo no Shima. Now, a few weeks before the launch of Black Ops Cold War, there was a big data mine hosted by Nanikos who explained the five field upgrades that were in the game, but then also spoke about three others that were in the code. One of them was Frenzied Guard, which we've obviously seen, and there are two others which we've not heard of yet in the game, one being Toxic Growth and the other being Lightning Links. Looking at this image, I immediately think that this is going to be Toxic Growth. I have no idea what this could do if you guys have any ideas or suggestions on what you'd like this 
field upgrade to do, please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Not gonna lie, the more I look at this image, the more I get Thrasher vibes from Zetsubo no Shima. And what makes this new Duga teaser even more interesting is that a week or so ago, there was a massive leak that revealed the scrapped Ural Mountains map that was supposedly coming to Call of Duty Warzone. It revealed a ton of new locations that could be potential fire team maps and potential outbreak maps. I covered that in a video and one of the locations I spoke about was Duga as it was on that map and it seems Treyarch are going ahead just like I assumed and are going to be using parts of that map for outbreaks. That's really exciting and it gives us the potential that other locations from that scrapped Euro Mountains map may also make their way into outbreak at some point. If you want to hear about those possible other locations then I'll have the interactive card appear for you to click and watch that video now. now obviously these are the only two teasers we've got from Treyarch today and this season doesn't launch until next Thursday so I'm sure between now and then we're going to learn a lot more about what's coming zombies wise. We of course will probably be getting the roadmap as well as a full-on trailer for this season update on Monday so be sure to stay tuned here to the channel as I'll keep you guys updated with any news we get the moment it drops. I know some of you are probably a little disappointed that there isn't more to talk about with this season from these teasers we've had so far but you've also got to take in consideration that Treyarch are now developing main classic zombies maps as well as outbreak maps and the outbreak maps are there to sort of keep the player base engaged with fun new content as well as keep the narrative going forward whilst they're developing these classic survival maps so if anything there's more zombies content than there's ever been before and I'd rather Treyarch make sure every classic survival DLC map they release is polished and has had plenty of development time to make sure they are fantastic experiences that people will play for years and years to come that's all we got for this video guys I really hope you enjoyed if you're excited for season three and just for new content to come our way then let me know by dropping a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more updates and on your screen now you'll see my video I uploaded yesterday going over 20 forgotten easter eggs and cold zombies that only ogs will remember it's a really good video I guarantee you'll learn something new in that so go ahead and check it out and I'll see you there in just a few moments